Okay, welcome back. Um, this is a practice round around PJ West Stadium course, I believe. Um, oh, this is quite a, an interesting hole here. Uh, we've got fairway, but the greens 320-325 to that front edge, so. Well, we can hit it 310. I think we're gonna go for this, to be honest. Let's go for it. Oof. Oh man, that was. Trying to stay dry now. He is uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. Wow, well, that was uh, that was coarse. That wasn't much. I actually went for that three, two, five side. Right. Uh, well, I'm gonna go for it again. I'm gonna go for that side. Right, this one's not looking good. Oh, that's. Oof. Oh, I tell you that, that is nip and tuck, that is close. That could be a good hole in a tournament where you I need to maybe make an eagle or a bird, definite birdie. But depending on the wind, if the wind's any kind of headwind, you're, no, it's no go. Well, the greens are not too difficult, and we have got tournament settings on, so it's not like a, a Chambers Bay. And he makes it. We're a bogey. I'll make a bogey there. Now the second part five on this opening nine here at PGA West. Frank, what are we looking yeah, at? PGA the West. The bunker down the right side gives you that optical illusion because it sort of has that curvy edge to it. Plus, it sort of me moves its way to that right uh, side. Uh, and you notice there's a bunker this is on great. the left I mean, that sneaks in on the left side. So this from is where you're hitting, you're actually. It's I mean, that's 318. Um, if you do air that's a little 356. bit, you very cognizant of the bunkers I mean, up on the left side mm. as you get closer to the green. That's certainly quite. It's quite tricky to eyeball, to be honest. I'm gonna go up here, I think. Yeah, I, mean, I like the. I like the fairways. Oh, well, what's gonna happen? Ah, That's quite quite a difficult hole to to get the fairway because it's all coming across at an angle. So that's not easy. It's not an easy tee this shot. An important approach shot because our featured player was and really good early. Got to 60. That's quite a long approach as well. This is a point in time where you need to get it back. Yeah, as the par yeah, five. Stop, so stand still for a second. Uh, almost just flush it out because at the moment you start to look right and left at the trouble. Let's get back to it's quite a small green as well. It's not. It's not the biggest green. Into the tall cabbage. That ball is swallowed up. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. No, let's chip in. That's an eagle. This is back to the one under part. Players like you often say, I'm going to take it on. What do you mean by that? How does it apply to this particular tee shot? Well, you, you have options, obviously. One is to hit it down that right side, which is your best shot. Uh, the easy way is obviously to bail it down, out down the left side. Off. Then, you're almost giving into the hole, like you're accepting you can make both if, you, you know, if you're lucky. So in the end, yeah, so I downloaded this last which night. Um, as I say, it was night shift, so right I didn't really have much time to sort of put something up uh, to get it kind of hot off the press. But as I say, I did play, I say this is my first playthrough, but I kind of did play a, the rough, what does uh, the a few holes. Be careful of your well, as I say, glitched at exactly the 12th hole, are, which because, we'll yeah, soon see if exactly that's going to be a, it's sort of doable be a problem. You know what you're doing. Um, out of the rough and right up next to the hole. 
<clears throat> but it looks initially as if it's going to be quite a, a scoring course, you know, you'll be able, be able to shoot, not low, but you know, a bit like Sawgrass. Sawgrass can be kind of, you know, you can play well in Sawgrass, you can play bad in Sawgrass. It's one of the courses that's it's easy, but it's not. Just a if that makes sense. On the front side. He's to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier. Oh, I'm actually tired. Going probably in. Really, do be going for a, a sweep. See, this is interesting life. because you. I mean, the, the fairway is not straight. I mean, you're kind of hitting. Where well, you're going to be hitting the 290, 300 yards. You're going to be carrying in towards that, that runoff area. You know, with a driver, it's 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 not easy. See what I mean? Look, it's gonna hit that. Oof. Frank, there's fairway, there's mulch, rough, and then there's mulch. Yeah, the, mulch. the worst thing about the mulch is all these little chips around the ball, and that's so the ball doesn't sit up. And uh, once again, yeah, this it's brought us back. It's easy, actually, but if you just miss oh, it a bit, it's brought us back so onto the fairway, the, uh, the uh, which is quite handy. That's a tricky tee shot. That's one you're gonna have to really place quite precise, to be honest. Maybe even go with a, a three wood or an iron, because you know it's not always the case of hitting a, a driver off the tee. Just trying to take care of business. You know, it's always. I like that. It makes you think. Think of it. You know, is a driver really the only option here? <laughs> You know, you maybe get to think about an iron. <sighs> Look at the mounds up there. See, it's squiggly. Mm, first impression's nice. Mm, yeah, Part 5 here. A tricky approach. 628 yards, so 282, and the water kicks in as well, so this is not the easiest of approaches. Just take a wee bit off it. Yeah, that would be really tricky to go for that, that, that pin. <coughs> You'd have to really <coughs> get your slope, make sure you're not, you're going to be hitting it into the water, from the rough, and the wind, and that, could be, well, the lie first and foremost. that could be really tricky. Down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the ground. The problem is turning one mistake into another. I mean, this skill... And that, yeah, it's a pretty, that pretty decent hole that, it could cause, tr tr cause you trouble, especially if you're going for that green. In great position. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the putt. Putt just not falling right now. That wasn't the best so read to be honest. With authority. You would almost be, <sighs> I don't know if you'd, if you're playing in a tournament, I don't know if you'd go for that. Maybe advise him to weigh up, to be honest. Right, this is a 12th hole. This is where it glitched. So, well, I guess we're going to find out. No, no, no. We're okay. Yeah, it just glitched. Every time I hit the shot, it kind of jumped. Yet again. Stopped and then it this just paused and then it went back to the tee shot and then it done the same over and over and over again. Second shot coming out of the rough here. So this is it. Uh, this is new from here. We've not played this, and that's legit. I'm not kidding on here. Yeah, tricky lie there. It's a bit kind of well, uphill. They're up slow. Right, this is gonna finish. Oh. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bold. Very bold. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Good part. Mate, we'll probably 
Frank, this is no easy shot. Have a call it. Yeah, and end of that section of video, uh, six holes, so we'll record that, uh, and you can look, join us for the next next part of the home straight, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.